five minutes with Eric. So we are gonna follow up on a one minute I just did and we're talking about wage garnishments. So one, real quick, the fact pattern, your employee has a debt, they got sued, they got a judgment against them, and even up to years later, they are now trying to collect the judgment. They find out that the employee is working for your company and they serve your company, which is not a party to the lawsuit, with a wage garnishment. It's gonna look official, it's gonna come by a process server, it's gonna have court looking uh, header on it, and there's a couple little wrinkles to this, but the main takeaway is, hear me clearly, if you do not answer and you do not respond and you do not comply, that, that judgment now becomes liable against your company. So your company, which had nothing to do with the debt, and two thirds of the time, these are credit card debts, right? So Citibank is owed a bunch of money for an unpaid credit card bill that maybe your employee did while they were a teenager or in college and they forgot about it. Maybe they didn't even know there was a judgment. Half the time people move around a lot when they're young and so they don't even know that there's a judgment against them. They didn't even get notice. There was a default judgment and now here we are maybe 10 years later and they find out that there's a wage garnishment. So first of all, if the person works for you, and they are receiving a regular paycheck from you, you have to garnish up to 25% of their paycheck and start paying it over to the judgment creditor. Judgment creditor is what we call someone who has a judgment against someone else. So the judgment creditor is entitled to a portion of this person's paycheck. Now there are exceptions. Maybe there's hardship, maybe there's head of household, maybe they've got a family X, Y, Z. But the point is that employee then has to raise these objections. But you, the employer, you have to respond. So I have a case right now where, and, and this is really important, on SunBiz, where your company is registered in the state of Florida, and by the way, if you're listening out of state, every state has a company registry, it's online. I usually just Google, I'll Google Georgia company search or New York company search, and it'll always take me to the official state website. In Florida, it's sunbiz.org. I look up the company. Every company needs to stay in good standing, right? Which means that every year they have to update it with their address, and at least one responsible party, officer, director, or manager. Also, they have to have what's called a registered agent. Now, my firm and a lot of accounting firms serve as registered agents. So lawyers, accountants are very often. So a lot of times, I'll get served with papers at the front desk. Now, this is important. Since we're a law firm, I have trained my people at the front desk with how to accept service, right? So when the process server comes, we go online. We're like, hold on a second. Before we accept service, we go online. We confirm that indeed we are the registered agent. Sometimes the records are out of date. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. We're not the registered agent anymore. I'm not accepting service. And so that raises a really important point. You need to make sure that your registered agent is up to date for your company. If it's not up to date and they go and they try to serve someone like me and I'm like, sorry, I don't work with them anymore, then that could cause problems for your company because then every company, since they have this obligation, if you don't have an up-to-date registered agent, then they can just serve the papers on the Secretary of State, which is this bogus legal fiction that all of a sudden, since the Secretary of State has these papers, now your company is going to be on the hook. Right, so here's what happens in my fact pattern. They go to the, the client, the, the company's registered agent was an accountant. The accountant says, sorry, I'm not accepting service, that's not right. And by the way, the accountant didn't have the courtesy of picking up the phone and calling the client and saying, hey, just wanted to give you a heads up. Somebody just tried to serve us, I didn't accept service, but I just wanted you to know. Well, imagine it's just the front desk person and they don't know any better and they don't think about it and they, they, they don't accept service and they don't think about it and they go home and they don't, they don't do anything. Right? They don't take that extra step of doing good customer service, maybe thinking, hey, maybe I should tell my boss or maybe I should tell whatever. Also, by the way, if you, uh, if you put your own address as your registered agent, then that means who's ever at the front needs to be trained. So if your person who's just a receptionist is answering the phone and one day someone walks in and maybe they actually do serve the receptionist. This happened to a bridal store on Miracle Mile a few years ago. They served the receptionist. The receptionist just threw it on the side and didn't tell her boss and it got buried under some papers, they forgot about it, and then the exact same thing happened. Enough time goes by and the judgment becomes the judgment of the company. So again, making sure you keep your registered agent up to date, making sure that if you're your own registered agent, you actually are trained on how to accept service of process. So guys, please, this is important. And by the way, a lot of times, the person won't even be, like let's say it's an ex-employee. You get served a wage garnishment for an ex-employee. Again, if you don't answer it, your company could be on the hook. We, are, we have a case right now 
where we found out that one of these judgment debtors was a part-time guitarist at a bar. I'm not even kidding. And he was paid a little bit of money every time he played guitar on Friday night. We served a wage garnishment on that bar. They ignored it. We got a $150,000 judgment applied to the bar. And the judge downtown said, sorry, those are the breaks. You should have followed the statute. So if you're a business owner, you got to be aware. If you have employees, you got to be aware. Keep your registered agent up to date. Thanks, guys.